Um, today we were making electric circuits and it was kind of coupling with a holiday program. So um, instead of just making something light up, what Sally did was she printed some uh, Rudolphs on the cards and on the inside of the card, the kids actually made a, an, elec an electric circuit made of copper wire, a ba uh, just a little LED, ba or a LED light and a flat battery. And um, when they close the card, then Rudolph's nose lights up. So today and in the next co over the next co um, couple of weeks, the schools over in the west and the south side of Illyria, the elementary schools specifically, are partnering with OSU's extension office they offer 4-H slash STEAM activities for the elementary kids. So it's a, um, something that's grant funded through OSU that they bring complimentary to our classrooms. It's quite a nice program because it is complimentary to the, to the um, uh, classrooms themselves so nothing's out of pocket, but um, also they will align activities directly to the curriculum. Right now, what our goal is, is to get Sally, the, person, the representative from OSU, introduced to the teachers over in this end of the district so that the teachers actually know who to reference and who to talk to about these types of activities. The future projects, actually, we are doing um, a, a light up parachutes for Force in Motion. In this particular building, we're going to be doing um, uh, marble roller coasters. Um, we have done or are doing um, edible rock cycles. So there's just kind of a gamut across the, across the grade levels and depending on what their content standards are. What we do, I, I'm under the umbrella of 4-H youth development. And in the uh, extension office, there's lots of different programs. There's ag and natural resources, there's community development, there's family consumer science, nutrition stuff, and then there's 4-H youth development. We're here to give kids hands-on activities that build their life skills across the board. My focus is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And I've had the pleasure of connecting with Laura Bartel so that I can get in more Elyria classrooms. But this is something I offer to every school in Lorain County. I'm a one-woman show. I'm the only one that goes out and does this under the 4-H STEM umbrella for extension. A lot of the activities are 4-H program book based. I also go to workshops at NASA. I also find, you know, really fabulous, reputable science resources online. Um, and, I, and I have a science background, so it isn't that difficult for me to find something that's a good thing. But the key that I've discovered this year and a little bit of last year is that I've realized teachers need this to tie to their um, specific science standards, Ohio Learning Standards for Science. So I've linked all my activities to the Ohio Learning Standards for Science so that teachers know where it might fit in with their curriculum map for the whole year. And that's what I'm trying to do to help them understand how I could help them more. And that seems to be, seems to be working. It seems to be really, really good. We made a reindeer that, um, that, that can make this light bulb, light bulb go red by this battery. And when you do this, you can put the nose through and it will light up. And then when you open it, these orange lines right here, they're copper, these, and then it makes the electric when this reaches here. And these all connect and there's copper under this to make it light the bulb up. And this, these lines will go on the orange copper thing to go spreading to the light bulb and then they'll go to the battery to do this. I'm gonna give it to my dad. I I had fun learning about it and I learned how like electricity works and you like how to make this, like how to put the battery here and yeah, I am going to give it to my family. Well, my grandma.